Hello, I am Dr. James Brookfield. In this video, we're exploring Amatec Brookfield's DV360, the viscosity software that makes viscosity measurement easy. Let's learn how to run a simple viscosity test. The first thing we need to do is connect the device to the software. Connect your instrument to the laptop with a USB A to B cable. On the instrument screen, go to the main menu and select external mode. In DV360, press refresh device list. Give it a few seconds to connect, and then click on the drop-down menu. There you can see we've got our HADV Next viscometer for measuring high viscosity. Press the Connect button, and the green light comes up, indicating a successful connection. Here you can see the Check Level option. The instrument is already leveled. To check the Auto Zero, we can perform the Auto Zero function now. Remove the spindle and press the Auto Zero button. The instrument is now performing the auto zero procedure. And now it's finished. The instrument is zeroed. The instrument should be turned back to zero. Excellent. Now we can press continue and start setting up our test. You need to connect to at least one instrument before you can create any tests. At the moment, we don't have any saved tests, so let's create a new one. Here's the test method. The first step is the test information. The viscometer is already selected. For this test, we're not using an accessory and there is no temperature controller. We'll run at ambient room temperature. We're using the number 2 spindle. Select HA2 from the spindle list. Enter the sample information. In this case, it's product 1, batch 1, sample 1. The analysis options depend on which spindle you're using. Since we're using a standard spindle with no defined shear rate, we're limited to these options. Let's run a speed ramp to get a simple flow curve. If we're using a spindle with a defined shear rate, we will also have the option to analyze using one of the math models. In the test generation section, we'll increase the speed by 5 RPM each step, start at 10 RPM, and use 3 steps. We'll have it ramp down with the same steps once and have it hold at each step for 30 seconds. For the data collection, we'll keep it at the default. Now we're in the reporting section. Here you can customize each section of the report and what is included. And this is the save test section. Here you can review your test and once you've confirmed everything is correct, hit save. The test is saved correctly. Go to the home screen and select run test. Load the test we just created. You can see the sample details and preview tests. Before we press run, attach the spindle and lower it to the immersion mark. Press run to start the test. We've got viscosity versus speed, and we can add temperature on this axis. The default graph is set to viscosity over torque. Once the test is over, we can navigate to the report section to look at the data. Reviewing the data, we see that this is a shear thinning material as the viscosity decreases as we increase the speed. It's also a purely viscous material as the viscosities are comparable on both the ramp up and down portions. And that's how you run a simple viscosity test using the DV360 software. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our Brookfield support team. Happy testing!